Hey guys, so today I wanted to play with some Becca Cosmetics. I've only ever tried their highlight and that's it. So today we're going to be trying the Becca Skin Love Foundation, the, what's this one called? The Parisian Lights Shimmering Skin Perfector and one of the Christy Taijin, she corrected everyone, that's how you say her name, it's not Tegan, and her Endless Summer Glow, Glow Gloss. So we're going to be trying these products out today. And if you guys didn't notice, yes, I colored my hair today. I was going for like a unicorn mermaid type hair look using the L'Oreal Colorista sprays. I will have a video of my experience with them up shortly. So if you guys are curious to see how the Becca product try on goes, then just keep watching. Okay, so I received two shades from Becca. I have cashmere and porcelain, and both look very, very light. I'm sure I'm not porcelain right now. So we are going to try the cashmere. This is what the box looks like. It says Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation, infused with glow nectar, brightening complex. And what are the claims on this? It says, love the skin you're in, a breathable medium coverage liquid foundation with a buildable finish that enhances the natural beauty of your skin. Enriched with their glow nectar brightening complex, vitamin C, bitter ginger, and a cold pressed avocado and melon blend. The weightless formula boosts radiance and maintains skin's natural moisture level all day. Comfortable wear. Pore blurring pigments hug every curve and contour of your complexion to instantly diffuse the appearance of imperfections for an effortless second skin finish. Sounds great. Now, in case I've never tried a Becca foundation, comes in a tube very similar to the It Cosmetics foundations with the silver cap. You can see the color through it, but it's cute. The name is holographic, the Becca Skin Love. Cute. All right, so let's see what this looks like on my skin. Looks like a little bit yellow toned, so we will definitely have to do some major bronzing today, but that's fine. I am up for a challenge and let's see how this works. Right off the bat, I'm really liking the coverage and the way this is looking on my skin. It doesn't look like a dewy finish. It doesn't look like a, it looks like a matte finish to me. I, breathable medium coverage liquid foundation enhances your natural beauty. So I thought that this would be more of like a dewy foundation, but this feels a lot like a matte foundation and it's already setting down, which is nice. So clearly it's a little bit too light for me. Um, so I'll go in heavily with a cream bronzer when we're done. Let's try a oval brush on the other side. Okay, so my first impression is I really like the way this is sitting on my skin. It covered this acne scar beautifully and it says it's only a medium coverage foundation. So yes, you can still see my um, birthmarks through it, but it covered my redness, my acne scarring very well. Uh, now let me look up close to see if there's a difference between the two sides. I think I prefer the brush side. I feel like it smoothed it out a little bit better than the sponge side, which isn't usually the case. So let me hop off, bronze up the face, and I'll be back to show you lip product and highlights. Okay, so this is the way that the foundation looks with a little bit of cream bronzer. I used a combination of the Tyra Sculpt Stick and the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick in Ex Espresso. And then for blush, I used the Merrill Norman Cheek Crayon in Pink Lotus. These have been like my go-to cream bronzer and blush products lately. 
I didn't set my face with powder because I feel like you don't need to if you don't have super oily skin. I do get oily in the T-zone, so I am going to just set the center of my face, but I don't feel like you need to if you don't have that problem. So I am going to hop off, powder the face, finish up my makeup, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. And I forgot about the highlight that we were supposed to try and the lip product, so I'm not done. I don't know what I'm saying. I got so excited about finishing my makeup look that I forgot about the other two products. So. Here's the foundation, let's jump on over to the highlight. It is a Shimmering Skin Pressed, Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Parisian Lights. I have been obsessed with Paris and France for as long as I can remember. I got a chance to go there about six or seven years ago before we started our family, and it's a beautiful city. If you've ever wanted to go and you have the means, definitely go, you will not regret it. Um, but this is what the box looks like. It's but it looks really pretty. Inside it comes in their standard Becca packaging. Oh, cute. And it has a little Eiffel Tower, a little Eiffel Tower design inside, which is so, so cute. So I need to get a picture of this before I try it. Okay, so picture has been taken. It is gorgeous. I can't wait to see what this looks like on my face. It looks like a beautiful pinky gold, so Yes, it is. That is so pretty. I think you need a bigger swatch, but I don't want to mess up the design. You guys see it right here? This is really pretty light pink with like a gold shift. I think I'm going to love this. So I already have blush and bronzer on, so now it's time to test out this highlight. Ooh. I like that. That's like a very soft, pinky gold. That's beautiful. I love that. Very pretty. I really like that highlight. Definitely a winner for me. So far so good. So far I've liked both products from Becca that I've tried. The foundation is sitting really beautifully on my skin. I love the amount of coverage that it gives me. It's like this nice middle ground. It's not too light. It's not too full coverage. It doesn't need to be set. It's playing nicely with all the other products on my face. So let's jump on to a lip product. Okay, next up let's try this gloss. This Endless Summer Glow Gloss from Chrissy and Becca. I haven't tried anything from their collaboration, but they've looked gorgeous. She has a blush slash bronzer that looks beautiful. It's like three colors in one pan. I would love to try that, but for now, this is what we have. I purchased this one myself and the highlight and the foundation I received in PR. So we will see what I think of this one. This is the shade Malibu Soleil, which I just think means Malibu Sun. So let's try it out. I don't know if these have a scent. Peppermint, so I wonder if this is like a plumping gloss, but it's peppermint. It's a very angled doe foot wand, so let's try it out. That is a very pigmented gloss. Okay, right, so here is Malibu Soleil Gloss. I love the mint flavor. I really like the way that this feels on the lips. It's not sticky. It doesn't feel like an oil. It just feels like, I would compare it to the Buxom lip creams, only they're not quite as, this is not quite as slippery as those, but it has that same peppermint sensation, the ever so slight peppermint tingle, which I personally enjoy in a lip product. So this is really nice. So that completes my Becca try on the foundation. I am loving this highlight, also loving. And so far this gloss is also a winner. So three for three, I may have to pick up some more Becca products next time I am in the store. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I hope you guys found this Becca product try on video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.